Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see during a binary partition which technique is best suited to find the midpoint. Whether we go for low plus high by 2 or we go for low plus high minus low by 2. We will see the reasoning which one to choose. So this technique is basically used in the divide and conquer problems. So wherever you find divide and conquer where you want to apply binary partition this problem will come. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. So let's see by taking an example. The variables in the binary partition are low, mid and high. So the constraint here shows that low and high ranges from 0 to max where low will always be less than equals to high. Now if we see it on a number line then you will see that the midpoint is actually 0 and the left extreme is min and the right extreme is max. Just for simplicity we can take this max to be 10 to the power 9 and uh, this to be minus 10 to the power 9. Now in this number line if I assume low somewhere here and high somewhere here then you will see that if I follow the first formula which is mid equals to low plus high by 2. By taking an example visually as well you will see that it is going to overflow if I add this low value to the high value. So this entire thing from 0 to this point is high and from 0 to, to this point is the low point. So if you add them together definitely it is going to go beyond the max point. So the rule says that if you overflow beyond the max point then you will have to come back and again restart at the minimum point and again you, ha you will have to travel from minimum towards 0. So if we take an example let's say that the low value is 100 the high value is 10 to the power 9 minus 2 and let's assume the max to be 10 to the power 9. Now if you just add this low plus high then it is definitely going to overflow because even if you add plus 2 to the high value you will reach to the max value but if you add plus 3 then you will actually cycle back you will go outside of the range of max and you will be representing the minimum value if you add plus 3. Hence low plus high will overflow in certain scenarios and this is one of those scenario. Now if you look at the other formulation which is low plus high minus low by 2. So if we do low plus high minus low then you see that the low value is already guaranteed that it will be less than equals to max and also the high value will be less than equals to max. So what is high minus low? The high minus low is this diff value on the number line. So if you add low to high minus low you can visually see that it is never going to overflow provided the low and high will always be less than equals to max. Hence this technique will never overflow. So out of these two techniques you should always go for the second one but never go for the first one because in certain scenarios the midpoint calculation with this first formulation will overflow. Hence just to be on the safer side you go with the second formulation. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.